viewing? My, my job is uh, working at customs in airports. So you know those people that check the bags and arrest people that have drugs or alcohol. Yeah. Uh, what challenges are you looking for in this job? In this job, I'm looking for serious problems, like my perspective, my thoughts of this job, thinking of the highest problem that could occur. So in order, I, in order to solve that problem. So if I look for the highest problem, I know how to solve, then easy, like lower problems could be easily deal with. So, for example, if someone is hard to control, some criminal comes and it's hard to capture him, I would, and he's disrespecting me, I would go and attack him as an officer, and I would also call other backup. Okay, have you ever uh, had uh, conflicts or like uh, with your instructors or bosses before? No, but if I ever, like I had problems with my instructors before, for example, giving me a grade that I don't deserve, I wouldn't go to them and attack them and say you're bad, you're unfair. I would negotiate with them in a more respectful way. I would send them an email and then I would ask them, sir, could I see you? Or what time could I see you? And I, when I go and see them in person, I would tell them, I think you made a mistake. I wouldn't say you made a mistake. I would say, I think you made a mistake. I mean, with the grade that you gave. Okay, why should we hire you? I think you should hire me because I think I have, uh, well, I know that I have leadership skills. I was uh, a green uh, house captain in my uh, school years. I was in charge of 25% of the school. And uh, I like interacting with people. I like meeting new people. I like knowing about different cultures. I like seeing and talking with other people. So it's something that I really enjoy doing. It's not that something that I'm forced to do. Okay, tell us a little bit about uh, what does it, uh, this job means to you? What like benefits are you getting or getting from this job? This job means a lot to me as I always wanted to work in the airports and I always wanted also to be a police officer when I was young. But as I grew over the years, you don't always choose or have the way going your way. So maybe you want to study police or law or something like that, but you end up studying something totally different. But deep inside you have that feeling that this place is right for you. So I start to have more interest in such things than going into business or so, teaching, for example. I also think I would benefit this company by giving them the best I could ever be dealing with people and respecting them and giving a good reputation reputation on us as a company. Would you like to work in a team or individual? I would like working individually, but if I have to work in a team, I would try cooperating with my team members. I had good and bad teams in the past, so it depends really on how willing my team members would like to work with me. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Safina Limami. I'm a 21 year old uh, graduate just now. And uh, I always enjoy watching crime investigations and uh, custom police on YouTube. And I see that I have interest in working such job. I don't like uh, I don't like seeing bad people in our lives, and I would like to protect our community and nation. Okay, thank you.
I have an, another question. Um, what you watch in the crime scene investigation does not always reflect on what you're going to be doing here every single day. Yes. There are times and days where you're just going to be sitting around, doing the same old routine, the same thing, checking bags, <coughs> and sometimes you'll be, you'll be bored. How, how, how do you think you're going to be um, working in such a place? How would you feel? I think I'll still enjoy the place that I'm in, as maybe it would look always the same, doing the same stuff, but I will always meet new people. And I love uh, socializing with new people. So I think I'll enjoy it. Did you understand that this job does not, is not about socializing with people, it's about, um, the, you're, you're the customs officer, you should not be socializing with the people. It's not exactly socializing as in making friendship, but socializing as in seeing people, seeing new people, seeing new people coming from different countries, this is what interests me, but I'm not going to deal with someone from India or from Saudi different. I'm going to equally treat everyone how they they present themselves. All right, thanks. Um, do you have any um, con any uh, comments, Warren? No, no, it was great. I think, I think it was very clear uh, and very it was direct. Yeah, it was direct. Thank you. We understand everything. Job position. But to take to take the job, his background. Yeah. Do you have anything that you'd add? Anything you would change? Uh, yeah, I have something. Uh, I think he introduced himself uh, at the middle or at the end of the interview. I think uh, such thing should be at the beginning. I agree. So maybe the question should have been in the beginning yeah. to ask about yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. That's the first question you're going to get in the interview. Um, um, you say, I know that I'm good at leadership. You shouldn't say, I know that I'm good at leadership unless you have 20 years experience. So, uh, the first one was correct. The first one was correct. But you should have said, I, I believe that I'm a good leader. You can only say that I know that I'm a leader when you have a proven track record and you have recommendation letters that say that you're a good leader can back it up. You have, you have uh, uh, a greenhouse captain. Yeah, no, that's, that's, not, that's not a recommendation. That's a school thing. And we're talking about um, corporate recommendations, uh, recommendation letters. 25% of the... Yeah, that's a school. You know, it's, not, it's not a proven track record. A, true, a proven track record is when you are a uh, executive or you're a manager for, for 10 years or uh, you know, 12 years or 15 years, 20 years, then you could say, I know that I'm a good leader because look at my company, it's improved. 25% of your students, can you bring those 25 and we'll see whether they were successful or not? No, so you don't have a proven track record. To prove your track record, you have to show that, um, you have to show prior letters of recommendations or anything that will be um, proven or any sort of proof um, or evidence for that. But otherwise, I think it was good. Okay, um, now Yazid. What's your job about today? What job? job? Uh, in the sales department. Sales department, which company? Uh, SAP. SAP. Okay. Okay, what do you do? Tell us a little about yourself. Uh, first of all, my name is Izzy, uh, 23 years old. I just graduated from uh, PMU, Prince Mohammed University. Uh, I had a degree in business administra uh, administration. And I studied English before uh, in the University of Riverside. I finished the academic uh, levels there. Uh, and I, ha I had been uh, an active uh, person in the university, including the events. Uh, Why are you interested in this job? Uh, because this job, I think it's like, uh, it fits with my uh, personality, and I think I go well with the requirements. Why should we be hiring you? 
uh, because I said before, like uh, I fit the requirements and uh, that's it. Where do you see yourself in five years if you work with us? Uh, with you guys. Well, in five years, what do you? How do you see yourself? Like, I see myself like working with them. Yes. Uh, doing better and maybe in a higher position. What do you prefer working uh, in groups or individual? Uh, I'll work in both ways, depending on the, on the situation it's needed. If you walked into, an, into a store and you saw 500 uh, riyals, what would you do? Um, easy, they will submit it to the cashier. probably wanted to um, role play that a little bit better, you know, just asking a question and then asking another question and then asking another question. Not to you, him. Oh, He's just, okay, okay, thank you. I want to ask you another question. I said thank you at the end. <laughs> What's your name? Tell us a little bit about yourself. It's an interrogation. It's an no, investigation. Uh, investigation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, anybody have any comments for you, Yazid? You answered too quick. No, I, well, I think, I think he was good with, um, he was generally good, but he was serious. serious. Yeah. No, he, he was good, I think. I think he, he acted well. I, I just think that when you say it fits my personality and the require, and I fit the requirements, you need to say what, why does it fit your personality? What's your personality? You know, how does this job fit your personality? Say it fits with my personality because I am a very calm and um, respectful person, so I like to sit the, to to meet people and um, sell them products, for example. Um, or my the requirements. What are the requirements? So they say the requirements of being a good communicator because I studied English at the Riverside College. Was it? Yes, that's where that's where I studied English. That's where I learned the English language. Right? Yes. Do I agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Otherwise, very good. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.